both play rogues. Awesome. Thanks for the information, guys. That'll help the cast. I appreciate it. Always learning, especially in the early days here in uh, a region that I'm not actually from. <laughs> I'm trapped in Hollywood. Should at least play out the remaining four minutes, even if they can't win. Well, no, because that's just a pure waste of time <laughs> for both sides. Oh, oh, oh. Gotta accelerate. Enhancement Shaman, sick. I used to play an Enhancement Shaman myself. His name was Sparky. Get it? Because lightning and he's a dog a lot of the time. Sparky. It's a good name, right? Too Good is here on my dong. He's actually playing Zarya. If you look at the bottom center of your screen, he's that pink haired babe. The map is Hollywood for game number two in this best of three series. We'll see if Too Good and Company can push as quickly as they did on that last map, Numbani. Make things difficult for Paragon to try and keep up. Getting ready to start the stopwatch in seven seconds. Boom. All right. So I will need to keep track of each checkpoint's time. I will announce it to you guys. If someone in the chat could just record the time as well so we have it there, I'm going to say it in the chat. Uh, but here we go. Dracius is who I'm going to watch first, or Dracius. I should clarify with him how he likes to, to be pronounced. 26 health on this Reaper here. He should probably move around to the backside of this building and grab that full heal, but no, he's just going to charge right back out and get stomped by Reinhardt, but that's because most of his team actually wiped anyway. Uh, Kawa here as the offensive Lucio using that speed boost. getting absolutely destroyed. So let's take Faz's POV here as the offensive Pharah. Trying to get some damage in. There he does land a couple of rockets there on the tank front line of Zarya and Reinhardt. Of course, they're most likely going to get healed right back up by that Mercy once she's done providing cover for Sita. Faz is probably going to leap in the air here. Yes, does get a direct hit onto Sita. Misses the second and third shots, though, as Sita returns fire for some partial damage. Zarya zapping away now. At Pharah, only six health remaining. Any splash damage would totally kill this Pharah, but there is the full health pack. But wow, he actually does get sniped before he can reach it. Dracius now on the point, actually, as Reaper has Death Blossom available. Pops it immediately. That was rather ill-advised. Did not get anything from it, but defense is starting to fall. Mercy with that big res now. I bet he wishes he had that Death Blossom. Dracius slamming the hammer down for the offense. Let's go ahead and take the overhead view just so we can see all that is going on here. Offense did manage to basically wipe the defense here. So we're going to keep an eye on my stopwatch as this chime goes off. It's going to be 1 minute 56. And we'll go ahead move on into payload town here get a nice vantage point in the wild west set you can see froggy and lazi setting up again while we've got a couple of harassing members of the offense is that mccree i see there actually our tier with the dead eye available but the defensive zarya ult actually catches him and eliminates that threat switching back to kawa now on offensive lucio helping push that payload through the set here I don't know what you want me to do. Those are the rules. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to play a game that you've already lost. All right, so before he can actually drop the beat, Hammer Down actually lands on his corpse, too. That's actually a really hilarious ragdoll, in my opinion. Arts here does have Deadeye available still. We'll go ahead and watch him try and get some damage done. He's not going for the flank Deadeye, though. He is actually just going to get taken out. Switching back to Faz with that Barrage available. Gonna fly up and challenge Sita here. Misses the first rocket and the second. Can be very hard to hit that Pharah with the rocket boost. Diva in play now here for the defense. Being played by Froggy. Switching off of Zarya, it seems, after using her ult. She decided Diva is much better for this open air uh, section of the map. We've got Artyr again with Deadeye available, just w waiting and watching 
four players to come out of that spawn. They're making a very strong push right now. They have four players on defense behind them somehow. There's no Symmetra for a teleporter, so I'm not sure what exactly happened there to allow that to happen. But Diva is going to get popped out of her suit. A couple of shots from the Revolver, and she is down as well. Deadeye, this could be a great opportunity here to get that push just for zoning. Get around that corner. It can be difficult to get around corners. He can just cancel it and get 50% of his ult back. There he does. Well played by Artyr to give him some, his team some space. Flash and fan onto Reinhardt. You can see him slide away, but I think he is likely going to go down. No, with uh, dropping the beat from Ilyaho. Lazy also with that Reinhardt Earth Shatter available. We have lots of ults both both sides here. Se uh, sorry, Sita is going to go down there to the McCree fire. Mid barrage, there's a flash and fan from Jazuka. Does manage to take out the offensive McCree. So let's go ahead and catch up the camera to the payload here as we are nearing the next checkpoint, and that's going to be an important one. And the time says 4.28 for checkpoint 2 is the time to beat. Switching back to our tier again. I just want to see a good Deadeye, you guys. Actually back onto Faz now for any Farah plays. Best of one. No, actually less... Lower bracket one and two were both uh, best of one series. They decided to switch it up and go back to best of three for lower bracket three and beyond. So there's the defensive Diva ult. Almost catches Farah, but actually gets knocked away from the blast. Reinhardt should be going down here against a combo of Farah and Zarya all on his lonesome. And offense is pushing once again. Let's catch up the payload while all this... Resetting is happening here. I'll go ahead and move all the way up to the VIP spot. You can see Too Good and Company marching forward confidently here, setting a pretty good time once again if they can continue this momentum. Artier back on McCree, responsible for dealing with the Farah. Diva does intercept some of those bullets there with their defensive matrix. Looking for that flash and fan. You can flash her midair to knock her to the ground. There he does just that, but does not actually get the kill. Barrage is happening right next to the point, but the offensive Zarya catching everybody on defense. We've got Mercy Reses on both sides now, so let's go ahead and take the overhead view. You can see a Reinhardt ult going out, the pin as well. Defense is slowly getting wiped. Three Divas, or sorry, two Divas dead, and a Reinhardt, three tanks down, and that is going to be it. Time is about 5.58, 5.59. Too good, gonna get play of the game with Zarya. Very nice. Anytime you can hit that meaty ult, catch lots of people. It's gonna be 603. He was right. So Paragon will need to beat the time of 6 minutes and 3 seconds in order to win the map. Otherwise, Too Good and Maidong will be the champions of this match. <laughs> I don't know why I said champions. They'll be the victors, the winners of this match, and they will move into losers round 4. Still a lot of Overwatch to be played today. There's still 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 teams remaining. Some of the teams that have lost already include Passive Aggressive, Flipside Tactics, Danger Dogs, Cooldown, Team Sith, G2 Esports, and Warders have all been eliminated from the event. Up in the winner's bracket, we have Melty Esport Club versus Kick Esports Club, and Fnatic versus Hulktastic. Down in the lower bracket, we have SG1 versus Ventus Gaming. Valfart is awaiting the winner of that match. And then Paragon versus Maidong, which we're watching right here. So let me make sure my overlay is right. I'm going to switch those colors back. As Paragon will be attacking this time around. Always good to remember that. And make sure my clock is on the right side as well. Yes, it is. Okay. So back into the game. Oh, we're at 100 viewers. Thanks, everybody, for showing up to watch Too Good and Company take on the... WoW Raid Guild, Paragon, world famous WoW Raid Guild. They've already outlasted 10 other teams, so congratulations. Oh, excuse me, outlasted 8 other teams. We had 18 to start with.
congratulations to them for reaching this far. If you're interested in the brackets, you can see them just by typing exclamation point brackets in the chat at any time. All right, so in about 20 seconds, I'll get that countdown timer started so you guys can see how much time is left for the attackers to actually try and win this map, Hollywood. Five, four, three, two, one, and blast off. All right. Here we go, right out the gate. They are basically a Formula One team moving with that Lucio speed boost. That passive aura affects everybody in line of sight. Everyone's gonna definitely stay in line of sight. We'll see who gets first blood here as we approach the first point. Lazy moving in super quickly does get surrounded by that McCree and Symmetra so that he definitely was not gonna last long there. Sita floating around to the back of the point now though on Farah, looking for some targets or at least to possibly drag someone back take a few shots at. No one is actually going to chase Farah, except for Soldier actually coming back to deal uh, half of Farah's life already. Only 30 health remaining. Soldier is definitely going to win this exchange. If he can't reach the health pack, yes, Sita is going to go down there. Uh, watching Froggy now as the offensive Zarya, trying to hit those all-important Graviton Surges. Zapping down those Symmetra turrets to just make the route a little more clear for his team. You can see the Symmetra turrets uh, silhouettes as well on the wall of the point, so they're going to need to be aware of that once they move in. Zarya still at full health, just letting shields regen. No, Reaper comes down from behind, too good uh, on that defensive Reaper, taking out Zarya there. Back onto Sita now, the offensive Farah, to see what he can get done. So if you didn't know, these uh, sloped rooftops here on Hollywood, you can actually float forever with Farah, uh, just tapping your fuel gauge. You can see his fuel is actually at max you basically slide around on these rather than just returning to the ground, so you can actually stay up there as long as you want, just by pressing shift or uh, or not shift, excuse me, just by pressing spacebar or right click as often as you please. Uh, we are going to take the overhead view as ultimates are coming down. Lucio getting trapped here. This is the defense of Lucio. Uh, we did have beats dropped at least on defense to keep them alive. Offense does have all of their members remaining here. Let's go ahead and switch to Juzuka on the Death Blossom. Cam. He's going to get knocked down by Reinhardt's ult, but the offensive Mercy Res means that they are successfully going to take point A. With uh, just under four minutes remaining to complete the map, they have uh, the potential to do it here if they can cap point A, prevent this defense from trickling back in. It looks like they are just conceding the point and are going to actually set up for the next leg. I'll go ahead and move the camera into the next section as we get set up here. So we can get that full overview of the Wild West setup. Now back onto Sita being played, or sorry, playing Farah here on offense for Paragon. Looking for some shots on the Farah above. It's going to be hard to hit those air rockets, so he is going to try and get above him. Not going to work out though. McCree is actually up on the rooftop being played by Artyr. Back on Froggy. That offensive Zarya, we've got basically all of the offense on fire right now, despite uh, only having a few members actually standing. Graviton Surge is ready for Zarya, but it feels like not everyone should be on fire. Sita's on fire actually just dropped off as he was returning to the fight. On fire is just an indicator of basically momentum if you're doing a lot of things right for your team. Uh, objective score, kills, um, support abilities can all get you on fire. Kill streaks definitely lend themselves toward that as well. Sita and the rest of Paragon still kind of crouched in the back here. They're going to need that air superiority with McCree and Farah and Mercy all above. And now a Genji appearing on defense as well from Pluppy. Too good switching over to the sniper. They are not, they don't have a tank at all. They figure they're not even going to contest the payload. They're just going to continue killing everybody. So no tank right now for the defensive team, my dong. They've got two uh, supports, as you'd expect. McCree, Farah, and Widowmaker and Genji all just dishing out tons of damage. Paragon cannot reset. They're switching to tanks now. Froggy onto Roadhog rather than Zarya. That's kind of interesting. I guess she was never really going to hit that uh, juicy Graviton Surge. Walks right past Genji. Good move there from Pluppy to get behind Roadhog. Roadhog is certainly... Uh, 
well, I was going to say certainly going to die here, but Genji actually leaves him alone. No, Genji does get taken out. That's what happened. No kill feed, everybody, so don't know exactly what's happening at all times. Defense still doing a good job, even though they are tankless. Ilyaho and Froggy reaching the payload once again. They're going to be able to push it a little bit, just a little bit, while their team resets. Kawa and Faz now dropping down onto the point, going to prevent them from actually pushing further. Mercy getting taken out on defense. Dracius is down. Froggy popping his whole hog ultimate there, trying to push everyone off. But Kawa as Lucio with that small hitbox, he's actually just going to stay on the other side of the payload and prevent them from pushing even further. We're now back on Sita, the attacker for Paragon. He does have Barrage available, catching a snipe there, trying to knock too good off of the platform at least. Does knock him off, but does not score the kill. Needed one more uh, rocket splash to seal the deal. Could not quite get it before grappling back up. Sita all on his lonesome up here. Must be careful without a Farah tagging along. Farah versus Farah and Mercy combo is basically impossible to win. I hear Justice raining from above from the defensive Farah being played by Faz. Uh, but time is actually ticking down now, only 35 seconds left to complete the map. This is basically an impossibility at this point. Defense was just too strong here, even though they weren't contesting with the tank. It's going to be virtually impossible for 25 seconds to actually capture not only this checkpoint, but the last stretch of the map as well. So uh, fully expecting a GG out of Paragon at any time here. My Dong has successfully won the map. That will be a 2-0 victory for no, James Too Good Harding and the rest of his team, Dracius, Pleppy, Kawa, Faz, and Artier. So time is up. And Maidong will take the 2-0 victory. Thanks everybody. Heroes never die.